today's video, we're going to be replacing the wheels on Old Blue. Brought it out of storage and noticed that a few of my spokes had busted. I knew they had some rust on them when I put it away for the season, but I didn't realize that this would happen. After one spoke popped, the rest of them started to go. Not only did my front wheel spokes go, but also the spokes in the rear wheel went. So we got some new rims for Old Blue, and we're going to put those on today. We'll be ready for the beach season. In case anybody's interested what type of bike this is, here's a quick shot of the specification badge. After looking at several different rims, I wanted to change the color of the rims to black. So in the rear, I went with a 24 inch black rim. These rims also are not made to go with caliper type brakes. This rear rim has a coaster brake. I don't have a brake in the front. If you use a caliper brake, it'll wear the paint off and the surface isn't really made for that type of brake. This is a shot of the 26 inch rim for the front. Let's start by getting the front wheel loosened up and off the bike. On this particular bike, we're going to need an open end 15 millimeter wrench. Also, it's good to have a deep socket 15 millimeter on a ratchet to make it easier. Sometimes the threads stick out past the nuts and a standard socket won't work. After we get this loosened up, we're going to go ahead and take the wheel off and gently set it down next to the other rim so we can compare the two. Now that we have the tire off, we can go ahead and take the inner tube guard out and place it on the new rim to protect the inner tube. Also, a good thing to do is to screw the nuts out so they're flush with the end of the threads so that you don't mar the threads while putting the new tire on. As you can see here, the threads are protected for when you may lay it down and put your tire on. We're going to use a 15 millimeter wrench on the rear as well. We're going to be removing this sprocket and reusing it later. I'll explain later on in the video about that. Also, you're going to need a 10 millimeter to remove the nut for the coaster brake. You can see the coaster brake is lined up right here and is bolted and is adjustable. The new rear rim comes with a bag of hardware including a rear sprocket which has 18 teeth, a ring to hold the sprocket on, and also a shield. The original sprocket with 22 teeth we will be reusing. The reason for reusing the old sprocket is as you can see here there's a size difference and I don't want to have to change the size of my chain. Plus the bike operates fine with the stock sprocket. It's a cruiser for the beach so this sprocket works great with the bike. 
Let's get our sprocket on and mounted. First goes the shield. Then we're gonna put our sprocket on. And then our little locking pin that goes around the collar there and snaps in place. Machine built in the USA, made in China. Hmm. Okay, once again, don't forget your inner tube guard or your rim liner. And these tools are really cool. They're a plastic nylon tool and it helps protect your rim when you're putting your tire on so you don't scratch it. Really helps pop that tire on and there's no scratches on the rims. If any of you like these rims, I've added a link in the description below. After a quick polish, I think Old Blue is looking sharp. I really like the way the new rims look and turned out. And I think we're ready to hit the boardwalk. So thanks again for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.